All right, guys, we're gonna have to do this documentary on the run just because this is a protected species here in the state of Arizona. This is the Gila monster, Heloderma suspectum. This is one of the two species that they are subspecies that they have here. They have the banded one, and then they have the reticulated Gila monster. This fellow right here is a specialist feeder on eggs, but we, he will also eat rodents young. He also is venomous, one of the few venomous lizards out here. Um, he has a venom gland in his bottom jaw, and unlike snakes, where it's a muscular controlled gland, this guy's gland is controlled by compression. So whenever he bites down, that's what forces the venom out. Now the venom, venom is primarily a neurotoxic venom, and uh, the cool thing about it is the venom is actually being used to treat Alzheimer and diabetes, and who knows what medical uses it could have for the future. But the, key, the cool thing about them too, is that the venom is not used to subdue their prey. It's actually thought to be used mainly for defense. And that also kind of supported by their bright coloration. It kind of helps them stand out, says, hey, look at me, you don't want to mess with me because I am venomous and I can't give you a whopping. And they certainly can. If you actually mess with them and do get bit by them, these guys can latch on and they hang on, they'll compress, but if you get bit, it's your fault. And guess what you're about to get? A neurotoxin mixed with a whole bunch of pain toxins too. So pretty much don't mess with this guy. I mean, he's just trying to go on his way. He's just gonna walk across the road, walk across wherever it may be that he's at. And man, I just gotta praise God I found this guy because he is absolutely beautiful. And uh, we found him just walking across these rocks where he's probably just prowling around, maybe looking for a nice place to shade, which he's found right up underneath here. And you can see those claws on him. He is a great rock climber. He's pretty much mastered this landscape out here. This is actually a, a pretty decent size one, but they can get up to two feet. They can get a lot bigger than this. And uh, what he'll do is he'll prowl across the surface and he uses his tongue. He'll touch it to the ground and he can actually smell eggs buried underneath the ground. Once he finds them, he'll just dig them right up and start cracking the shells and start eating the yolk, start eating the fluid inside of it, get him a good meal. And he only actually eats four to five times a year. And then he stores all of that in his tail, which is why you'll see Gila's with real, real fat tails. This guy, his tail's got some decent amount of fat on it, but is it too thick? Oh, listen, and you can also hear him hissing right now too. He says, uh-oh, this dude's outside of me. I don't know if he's gonna hurt me. So I'm just gonna let him know I'm here, let him know to leave me alone. But uh, they're, they're real, real sweet lizards. Absolutely gorgeous too. Their breeding season is sometime around the, the end of spring, but uh, they, they start to actually lay eggs later on into the late summer. And also, you can notice that he's kind of flattened at the top, so that way he can fit up underneath these these uh, rocks right here. And his skin is actually extremely strong too. It's real tough skin. And that's exactly what Heloderma, his genus means, is studded or beaded skin. And that skin just helps him to keep safe, keep his skin from ripping, tearing amongst these rocks. It's real, real thick, tough skin. Absolutely beautiful lizard. We're gonna leave him on his way. I gotta praise God for this guy, cause man, this is one thing I did not expect to see. And he is just absolutely beautiful. Far more beautiful than I could have imagined. So sleep tight, little Gila.